Hi, welcome back to Utah Stories Podcast. Uh, today we have Caroline Crum, who's a student at the U, and we're just going to talk about moving from California to Utah and how uh, those adjustments are. So welcome. Thank you. Yeah, so do you want to talk a little bit about the changes um, from moving from California to Utah, how they've been for you? Yeah, well, one big aspect is like the culture shock kind of of coming from California, which is obviously a much bigger state, but also a lot more diverse in some ways um, yeah. and obviously very, very more liberal than Utah. Um, so that was a big change coming here in a lot more conservative environment and also very heavily LDS. There's not that many LDS people in California at all. And so it was a that was a big like social aspect that was different. Yeah, totally. And yeah, I guess you just talked a little bit about it, but like the cultural differences between California and Utah that you've noticed? Yeah, really heavily on like the the difference with like the Mormonism cuz in Utah it's such a big aspect of the government. I don't know the the numbers, but I think it's like 80 or like 90% of the Utah government is LDS, right? In mm -hmm. California it's probably like 1%, like if that um like Utah has weird liquor laws and stuff too. So like that's one thing that just is weird. Salt Lake's really nice because Salt Lake's pretty similar to California, right? Like big city, lots of green spaces, super big community, but overall Utah as a state is a lot, a lot different. Yeah. Um, and we talked on the phone like a couple of weeks ago and you were talking about just like some of the criticism that you received and you told me some yeah. pretty crazy stories. So I don't know if you want to elaborate on that. Oh yeah. Um, well, there's been two main crazy ones. One is I, I took an Uber from the airport to my apartment. Um, and I try to like make conversations with my Uber driver, right? Just to like ease the awkwardness. And he was like, Oh, you're from California. Like, you know, we hate those guys. Right. And I was like, oh yeah I know and he like went on and on about how much everyone in Utah hates Californians and it was just so uncomfortable I was like I wouldn't be surprised if he like killed me we're like <laughs> no more Californians um and then I was driving home to California um and I have a California license plate because that's where my car's car is registered because that's where I'm from um and I have all these stickers on the back of my car from like where I've taken it in California like San Francisco Santa Cruz and so I was pumping up at a gas station um kind of outside of Wendover, like on the drive to the Salt Flats. And some guy was like, oh, where in commie land are you from? And I was like, oh, and I just like tried to be polite. And he was like really weird about it and, and was talking about how like he doesn't like California's moving to Utah and how he used to live in California, but he moved because they wouldn't let him keep all of his guns in the city limits. And it was also very scary. <laughs> Another time when I was like, <laughs> I'm going to get killed. Yeah, that story really shocked me because I was like, because you told me you're 19 and I was yeah. like, I was like, how could like a grown man come up to a 19 year old like that and, and this like, a, like say that? Yeah, like a grown, like surly, white beard biker dude, like pulled up on his motorcycle. So it was, it was yeah. intimidating. Yeah. So I guess just keep in mind when um, you're talking to Californians that we do understand like why it might feel like a lot of us are moving to your state but at the same time like maybe keep in mind that some of us are younger maybe going to college or just moving here and we're not really trying to take away like your real estate or anything yeah. like that um and that you are talking to a young person and that um saying something to like that can definitely be kind of alarming so yeah <laughs> definitely i think unsolicited advice is is rarely welcome, especially when it's about where I live. So, yeah, totally. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Of course. Um, and I think that about wraps it up. Thank you, guys.